What are your thoughts on chemical peels and when should I use them? I am a fan of chemical peels. I consider it to be kind of like a gateway procedure into other cosmetic procedures since it's a pretty easy procedure to get done. The purpose of chemical peels is to just to kind of improve the overall appearance and texture of your skin. It can address certain issues like hyperpigmentation, acne scars, actual acne, like with the salicylic acid peel. You can also address fine lines and other signs of sun damage. Chemical peels work by exfoliating exfoliation, you're renewing your skin, and then this can provide a refreshed look. It can also work deeper on the collagen level, and this is where it can help with fine lines and wrinkles. Now, the downtime can vary from a few days to a week, and the intensity of the downtime can vary as well. But in general, the intensity of the chemical peel, like the strength of the chemical peel, can be tailored to how aggressive you want your outcomes to be. Different types of chemicals can be used in chemical peels. I think the most traditional one is trichloracetic acid, or TCA peels, and those can come in really low strengths or really high strengths. Strengths. There's also glycolic, lactic acid. There's these combination peels like the VI peel has like retinol and hydroquinone along with TCA and some other acid peels in it. There's also a really intense chemical peel and it's been kind of going around on social media. It's the phenol peel. This is a super intense peel. It's rarely done, I think, in a dermatologist's office. This can completely like resurface the face. The face can look very scary. And this also comes with a lot of risks because it can potentially cause some cardiac arrhythmias. So you have to like have a heart monitor, monitor your heart rhythm. It needs to be under very close supervision by a doctor. But that one's not something we do that often. The outcomes look amazing though. Because there are so many different types of chemical peels out there and they can come in different strengths, I think it's important to talk to your dermatologist or esthetician, whoever's performing the procedure. So you want to talk about your goals and you want to talk about what chemical peel is suitable for your specific skin type. You know, not all chemical peels are created equal and different skin types react differently to different chemical peels. So that's really important. And then go over all the risks. One of the most important things is making sure that you are really doing adequate sun protection after the the chemical peel. And then there are certain products that you might want to avoid prior to using the chemical peel, depending on the chemical peel. When it comes to treating indented acne scars, I'm also a fan of something called TCA Cross, which is a really high strength of trichloracetic acid and applying those to each individual indented scar. And that can make a really big difference with acne scars. If you enjoyed this video and want to learn more about achieving healthy, radiant skin, be sure to download my free gift of my top five skincare favorites. And remember to hit that like button, share this video with your friends and subscribe to my channel to join my holistic wellness journey for your mind, body, and skin. Thanks for watching.